Hey everybody, welcome back. I know it's been a while, but I am finally back posting another video. It is 2024, so I have a couple announcements to make. And I'm going to make them all in this video right now. So uh, let's, we're going to go on with the intro, and then let's get on with it. Okay guys, so first I am going to go over a trailer plan. The, this is a list of, well, trailers for what could be a movie, but I'm not going to film the actual movie. I'm just going to film a short three to four minute trailer of it. Just, just so then, because I wanted to film something, but I didn't want to film a movie because I feel like I jumped in. Like I kind of jumped straight into the deep zone instead of starting from the shallow and then slowly going in. So that's actually the paper right here. Uh, so I'm gonna explain that. So I have a list of six trailers I'd be wanting to film. And it basically, it's just some are about some YouTubers, but we really just me, Locks, me, and Joseph created creator. Um, then there's also some fictional ones, kind of like Dragon Master. So far, I've only planned six, but I mean, these actually look good. And it's gonna span through February, all and I planned it all the way to August. You know, so that's gonna be. I might be pretty busy then. Now I'm gonna go with the release plan. So. The first trailer will come out, right or I'll best. start filming it in February, you and then I'll hopefully finish it by March. I'm thinking each one will take a month. So, finish it by March and then post it. Then the second trailer, start March, then, it, then it finish April. Then third, start April, finish May. Fourth, start May, finish June, then July, then June, July, July, August, which will be the last, which will be the last one. Um, I actually have, so I have six of them, but I might only do four. And I'm actually about to go over them right now. The four trailers that I am a hundred percent gonna do is a Dragon Master trailer. We've already seen the first Dragon Master. Um, I don't know, it's bad, but I'm gonna make a trailer and like I'm gonna create new scenes, like completely start from scratch. Then I'm gonna go do a Locks trailer, which pretty much if Locks had his own movie about his life, you know, like a biography or something, then I would make the trailer of that movie. Then a uh, Dragon I Master call, 2 because um, I actually already have the first Dragon Master, so I might as well make the second one, but then I wouldn't make a third or fourth. Then I would do a F Boy trailer, you know, about me. There are then there are two more that I've actually planned on here, but I'm not gonna say what they are. But there's also another one I have on here. Which would be Hopefully August to September, again. but like I'm not really sure. But I'll say it anyway. This one would be a Alan Becker in real life. One. You know, so I'd have people Two play at yeah. Second Coming, yeah. Blue. Yeah. Um, I will try to song. use scenes yeah. from Alan himself. You know, not yeah. getting in contact yeah. with him, but just, yeah. I don't know, any I've real life plan. clips or yeah. something. Uh, yellow, red, green, purple, king orange, dark lord, chosen one, victim, maybe the mercenaries. It kind of depends because I don't have that many people. I like, like my friends, like they will film. I'm not sure how many of them will be down to do it. So yeah, I just wanted to talk about that. Next, we are going to do a, what I call a view review. It's pretty much where I just kind of review the top 10 videos viewed because the last time I posted was literally 
technically last year. So, you know, might as well look at that. All right, guys. So view review. So I actually have the top ten most viewed videos on my phone. Then we're gonna do the next. Then we're gonna do the top ten shorts. So at number ten is my Iron Man suits video. It has. It only has 87 views, which is not surprising at all. But I'm actually very surprised that he even has 80, up to 80 views. You know, because it's just an edit of like three impressive Iron Man suits. Then, my friend actually filmed this. He created this and I posted it. It's Subway Surfers, but... I switched game. Oh shoot! Actually, I don't even know the actual video name, and it got cut off. Uh oh. Anyway, it's like Subway Surfers, but I switch games every time like something happens. Sorry guys, I have no idea what the full name is, and it has 88 views. Number eight is my third ever video. That's kind of surprising, even for me. Transformer scrap metal in parentheses, not a real transformer. I actually memorized this one, so it has 95 views, which is pretty impressive compared to the other two. And it's literally just me showing people a transformer that I built, not even a real one. I just created my own, and it was actually kind of like really bad compared to the other ones you'd see on YouTube. Then I have a Knuckles vs Tails vs Sonic edit video, with a, and it has a hundred and thirty six views. And that one is seven, number seven on the list. Number six on the list is reacting to Locke's official music video, meant to be, with a hundred and forty one views. I think that's pretty good for at least for me, you know. You know, I already have three with two two K, and I kind of feel like I should be getting more, but you know, I'll, I'm happy with what I got. Like, uh, you know, it's YouTube. it's just YouTube. Then at fifth place, respect. Dragon Master the OG Dragons, the, dra the first Dragon Master movie, my first ever movie, with 166 views. And now I'm actually looking at this at Lifetime, so. Since it's been posted, how many views it has? Now, 166 obviously isn't super like mind blowing, but to me right now, it actually, it's actually pretty good. Then, with 258 at number four, reacting to Ultimate Minecart Race by Alan Becker. It's the AVM episode 31 that I reacted to. The thumbnail is fire, though. So my reacting thumbnails are fire. To be honest, you know, totally. Anyway, uh, at number three, Dragon Master the OG Dragons trailer made by uh, my friend Locks. Actually, he created this, and it has 436. Almost, it's like not completely double the reaction video, but. It's almost double. Then, these, the next two, the top two, aren't even that surprising. I can't, I'm also, real, I'm, I'm also surprised. I'm literally stuttering right now. How many views they even got, but, yet again, it's just the health bar videos. So, AVM, season 3, episode 25, the ultimate weapon video with 38.9k views. And then AVM Season 3, Episode 30, The King, is 495 Well, yeah, just 495k views. Okay, guys, sorry, I had to move locations, you know. Anyway, that is the top videos. Now we're going to move on to top shorts. But for the top 10 videos, if you combine all of those 10 together, the views, um, quick math right now, would get up to close to 500k probably under 500k but close to it 
anyway next we're gonna do top shorts um all of these have more than a thousand views so these are doing better than my regular videos but i mean they're shorts people can just fly past it and they and it still counts as a view or i'm pretty sure it does anyway at number 10 is Alan, the Allen Becker tournament, the chosen one versus the Dark Lord. This one is long because I'm using like the sweat, sweater. Oh my god, I can't talk, bro. Sweater, sweater. I can't talk. Sweater, weather, whatever. Um, I'm surprised because this is a kind of bad edit. Next with 2.2k. Also, the other one at 2.1k. This one, 2.2k. YouTube Wars, Chunky Monkey, which is now Lox, versus Joseph the Creator, I think. Oh no, versus Jurassic Clips, which, rest in peace, I guess. Um, with 2.2k, that, I was so surprised when I saw that, because this was actually kind of bad. I just used like a really fast, um, like audio, and I, I couldn't even keep, it was so fast, I couldn't keep up with it. So it was like bad and offbeat, yet people still liked it. Next is F Flash's first and last run, which was sad because of nostalgia and all that. So which reached 2.3k views. That one also surprised me because that one actually got it real. That one actually got it pretty fast. Next is Alan Becker tournament. Uh, the. The second coming creative versus the witch. I think this is round two or something. I'm using like I'm drowning or something. Drowned. That one, I think. For the audio. That one also got 2.3k. Um yeah, the Alan Becker tournament, like really, actually got a lot of views altogether. And I feel like that's when my editing actually started to pick up and get better and better each one. Anyway, the next with Next, with 2.4k, at place number 6, is Thor vs. Superman live action with proof. Now, there I saw a comment that's saying, like, instead of them fighting, they should be friends. Actually, that's a good comment. Good for you. Good thinking. They should be friends instead of fighting, you know? Why fight when you can be friends, you know? But that one, I actually like a lot i think it looked pretty cool plus um i i did all i actually did some research before i actually finished it because i have proof you know this is live action and it's not alan becker so i can actually find their physical their strength their durability like i have to find how strong a neutron star is which is like something to the power of 10 or no something times 10 to the power of like whatever it's probably like 10 to the power of like four thousand something i'm not even sure to be honest my math is off anyway um next is alan becker tournament the second coming verse purple with 2.7k views uh that one again it's just alan becker tournament you know the next with 4.3k views were moving up. Actually, almost doubled that the last one. Ellen Becker. Also, we're in the top four now. Um, is Beeper vs. Ruben in terms of writing. I'm actually surprised no one disagreed with me. I mean, unless someone did. I just haven't checked the comments. But no one really disagreed with me. Everyone just said, you know, like, rip, rip Beeper. Because Beeper died. And he was actually a pretty good pet. And overall, Beeper won, you know, in terms of writing. Even though we had very limited time with him, Alan Becker was able to make it to where we can actually, you know, feel a bit sad when Beeper dies because Beeper is awesome. Next is Alan Becker Tournament, Virobot vs. Yellow with Command Block with 4.5k. Also, I feel like is probably one of my most, mo most like, not hated, but controversial, I guess. Wait, because tons of people kept saying that Vibrobot would win instead of Yellow Commands. To be honest, I kind of forgot the strengths of Vibrobot. And I just thought 
And I'm like, I don't know. I just remembered it could delete stuff, but I didn't think it could delete the commands, you know? I thought you could just pick it up or pick the Virebot up, throw it somewhere, or like teleport it away, or like just slash kill it, insta kill it, you know? And then problem solved, but I guess not. Because you can just delete the command. But, so, Island Becker did give Yellow the command staff. Command box staff. And we got to see it a little in the latest ABM. So, who knows? Maybe we'll see it more. You know, maybe we'll see more of it and more of its power. Who knows? Anyway, top two. The second, what if Season 9 ended like this? The Flash. 7.5k views that one is very surprising because it's not even a wish edit it's just a flash edit and the number one to this day with pr almost double our top three our third one alan becker tournament viverbot versus yellow with commands it's alan becker tournament baby piglin versus dark blue or navy blue or purple's dad whichever you want to call it 8.8k views. That's actually very surprising. It also has a lot of comments. And this one was a pretty bad edit as well. Like, very late. Like, right now, if I were to make it like that, that means I was very lazy. And even sometimes when I'm lazy, I still can kind of put enough effort to... Enough effort while being very lazy to at least make it better than this. But it somehow got 8.8k and I actually had a lot of comments. Some of them were pretty funny, you know? Like, they just made a meme out of it, you know? And it was pretty cool. And this one was posted a long time ago. Like, 2020. No, I think it was 2023, but like early 2023. Or it might have been. No, or it might have been late 2022, actually, if I think about it. Because I think I posted this before. Uh, the year we 2022, 22, hashtag 22, 2022 in short. It was like a YouTube trend for the end of the year. I did not do the YouTube tr trend for the end of 2023, which kind of made me mad because I missed it. I, I, I was always thinking I would scroll and then I would actually see it, but I just never saw it until after. And I completely forgot about it. Hopefully I can do it for... The end of 2024. Um, it's fine. I still have 11 months to go anyway. So, yeah. Anyway, time to go to the next announcement. The announcement. Uh, real quick, shout out to the Avatar Remastered server. It's been not a lot of people on it, but it's still been holding up. There's at least people. I think you guys should join. Um... The server IP will be right here, and there's a link in the description. Anyway, next announcement, open collab. Um, Sometime in February, I'm going to post open collab just because, you know, why not? I guess I could say it's the New Year's coll open collab for 2024, Um, even though at that point it would be two months. But whatever, it's fine. So, please, please join. I actually did one open collab when I hit 500. Guess what? No one joined. It was sad. I put reminders out and stuff. No one joined. I know someone in the Discord server downloaded the video, though, because I sent the link to it, to the open collab. But I think they were just trying to use the, the audio, the song, instead of actually doing the open collab. So... Yeah, it's already closed. Anyway, on another announcement, I'm gonna do play other games. So, I did a community post of what games you guys want me to play. And I'm actually gonna play all of those. I think it's on there. You guys all, or most of you guys, wanted me to play Roblox, so I guess I'll do that. I'm also gonna do Clash Royale and Clash of Clans, because, you know, give Super So some love. Then the third announcement. Uh, so I, my friend is kind of doubting me on this, but to be fair, I'm not sure if he even seen my wish edits. You know, they're not that great because 
There's other goaded editors that are better. Anyway, CapCut tutorial. Um, it's kind of like, not like a tutorial on how to make the best wish edit or whatever. Just some small things like watermark. Or I actually have a watermark that I'm working on right now. Uh, you won't see it for a bit, but hopefully in maybe the next wish edit or edit after I post this. Maybe before. Depends on how long it takes me to edit this video. Um, or keyframes, how I use them, graphs, how I use them, including the keyframes. Like, how to put text behind a character. You know, not just behind the whole, like, clip or video, but behind the actual character. I've done, I did that in tut uh, Edit 2.0, Open Collab. Then in there, um, you could see it, like, it first goes fast and then, like, slows down so you can read it and then goes fast again. That's because I use keyframes, um, the cutout feature, and graphs, but I'll do a tutorial on that. <sighs> um, I might do tutorials on other things, you know, just help out some of the people. I know M edits on one of my edits wanted to know how I did that something at the start. It was keyframes. And yeah, I'm a Kafka editor. I don't use light motion. Not yet at least. I'm not sure if you can even use it for free, but I'll try I think last time I tried I just kept seeing the thing pop up for like a light pro or something. So yeah, I might just get Kafka for it, you know, just at least have that. So I have better text and stuff. Because in secret, I don't even have CapCut Pro. I'm literally a free to free to edit. And uh, yeah. So how about those newest editors who need help with a watermark or cool text, I guess. You know? One more thing before I head to the outro. Go to editor shout out. I wanna shout out to some go to editors. Oops better that are actually most of them are probably better than me or at least equal to me at least now because some of them have been improving um i want to give a shout out to the those good editors that deserve to be recognized you know like chris the guy um i can put like the link to their channels in the description and i'll tag them in this chris the guy Drifty Boy Edits, M Edit, Mystery Xbox, um, who else? Tantris Edits, oh, The Light Animate, I think The Light Animator or Animator. I know that, that, that guy, give a shout out to him. And I'll put all the links to their channel in the description. Anyway, guys, that is it for my 2024 announcements. Yeah, I'm not sure. I'm. It's probably going to be a long video. Maybe not. I kind of try to go through it a little fast. I'm excited for the trailers. I'm um, definitely excited to play some games. I'm so excited that I might actually make just a gaming channel. Except I kind of want to kind of want to just go just control one channel instead of having multiple. Because like, I'm already having a lot on my plate. So I don't feel like doing trying to control or trying to run another channel run two channels at the same time it's, all, it's kind of getting hard to run one right now yeah i'm also in some collabs so yeah i probably should edit in those hmm. anyway that is going to be it for my 20 24 announcements and if i have any other announcements that i forgot because i had a paper and i lost it uh, i'll do a community post or maybe just a separate, or maybe like a YouTube short, or whatever. Oh, three, 3K sub q and uh, I need more questions before I'll start it, because I don't want to do, I don't want to do it just for, unless I just go into literally great, great detail. So, yeah. Also, comment down below, like, some series I should react to, just so then I have some other videos I can post. Anyway, that will be it. Have a great 2024. Thank you.
I was a good friend, but you left me alone in my cold bed. Would you even notice if I was dead? Shit, now I got you stuck in my dumb head. I liked you, but all your friends told you to stay away from me. I called for help, but they just let me be. I thought we were friends, but you are a bully. You said I was a good friend, but you left me alone in my cold bed. Would you even notice if I was dead? Shit, now I got you stuck in my dumb head.